Hi guys, okay, as you can see, this is a very sort of natural look. This is what I'm wearing right now. Um, and I've got a very bad cold. Um, basically, it's a Becker's Guide to What to Wear when you've got a cold and you might cry or sneeze it off. Um, so, yeah, uh, keep on watching. So, this look is just very easy. This is actually a what to do to your skin when you've got a cold. <coughs> oh, cough, in my case, clearly. Um, so, yeah, keep watching and, yeah. I can't do the button today. Oh, okay. okay, guys, right, so to start off this look, and I'm sorry I'm talking quietly, but my voice is really hurting. Um, it's going to moisturise my face because also when you're ill, like your skin gets quite dry and unpleasant, and my skin at the moment is so sore. So I'm going to be using, um, actually, Derma, like, E45 cream, like, this was uses on like eczema, etc. But honestly, since moving to York, the water here is so hard and like, my skin is dying. So I'm just going to completely massage this into my face. Like, especially for the woman's nose and the mouth. Because down here, it really is very soft. And also, you can use this on your lips, I believe. Well, I haven't, I haven't died yet. Like, don't take my advice for it if you're concerned about death, but I ain't died yet. Um, she went, put it all over, give it a little bit of a massage. Right, now once you've done this, while you're waiting for your skin to sort of absorb that, um, I'm going to show you the quick trick I use to get rid of my bags. You can't actually see them in this life, but I'm suffering quite badly from them. Um, right. Uh, basically, what I do is I put my fingers just below my cheekbones like that, and give them hollow sockets and press them. And this basically you can stick the veins around the eyes, in channel, and then you can just lift them up. So that kind of drains the blood out a little bit. The same way, I just zoom forward on them. And then you can just give a little bit of a pat around. And then just get the blood flowing to your eyes a bit more. Okay, um, now it's done that, I'm going to be taking, um, my foundation and just applying that straight to my face. I'm just going to open this little mirror up over here so I can see a little bit better what I'm doing. Yeah, yeah, okay. Um, my webcam really does make me look very pale. Um, and the foundation is just going to go all over my face, like, eyelids, especially under eyes. Um, now, the thing is, if you've got a cold, um, always keep some foundation in your bag. Ow, ow, ow. Be very careful when applying it around the nose, clearly. Um, because the thing is, as I know from experience of this last week, that obviously blowing your nose a lot, a lot etc., means that it just rubs off throughout the day. <coughs> ow. Yeah, you can see I'm not faking this. Um, okay. Now, we don't want to have much on the eyes at the moment because obviously you are ill and therefore your eyes will up and out. So I'm not going to do that. I'm going to just apply a sort of dark, no, it's not a dark shade, it's like um, a warm brown to my eyebrow just to sort of define a little bit. I brushed them through earlier. I'm going to just define them a little bit more like this. It's hardly any different, but I'm just giving them a little bit more definition. Yeah, see, slightly darker, nothing awful because obviously you can't do that much in the eye. But what I am going to do is I'm going to take a shade stick and I'm going to have a champagne colour and just, it's like a highlighter if that makes sense. <coughs> Champagne kind of highlighter and just put that under the eyes, it gives them a little bit more of a glow. Okay, right, um, I really hate feeling ill, I really do. Um, okay, and what's in that? I'm going to take a little bit of it on the end of my finger, like that. You can't really see it in the light, but I'm just gonna. Put it along my cheekbones, this gives a little bit of that nice sort of 
chewy look. Just make sure that the cute rays because there's a little bit of a shine. And not that ill shine, but a nice shine. We can use pink on because the fact is I don't fancy using blusher because obviously when I sneeze and cough I get bright red. So having more redness on my face is not a good thing. Right, okay, um for what's done that I'm just gonna take some Vaseline. Yeah, and my lips. Because it doesn't really matter what steps we do with them, but my lips are hurting, so I'm putting some bath on now. Before I go to the stage, which I should have done before this, which is actually, um, as I was saying, obviously when you're ill, you're sneezing, you're coughing, your eyes water, so don't put any sort of eyeshadow on your eyes, don't put eyeliner on, because we're quite off. But what I need is when you use a waterproof mascara, so I'm using the Scandalized by Rimmel to curl my eyelashes. Be very gentle, because obviously your eyes are very sensitive. For the moment, and you don't want many layers, you just want like maybe one layer. It just, it just has a little bit more life to you, really. Oh, this eye's gonna cry. You know when you feel like you're just gonna cry, just not on purpose, but your eyes just want to. Alright, so, um, yeah, that's the look done, really. Very sort of plain, simple, and natural. Um, this is what I wear when I have a cold. So, enjoy.